What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. I'm a little disheartened today. Um, there's a lot of things happening out in the open that we are being um, we are being confused about and I think that we are being dissuaded from thinking about and we have so many other things that are taking up our our consciousness. We're, we have deflections everywhere. We have entertainment. We have the multi the mainstream media. We have um, video games, movies, actors, Taylor Swift. So many things are happening around us. And it doesn't seem like, I don't know if we can count on the American people to save this because this, would all, this wouldn't be happening if people were awake, if people actually sat and looked around and took in what was happening in their country. So here we are in America. In the last four years, over 10 million illegal aliens have flooded into our country. In the last four years, we've had insane inflation, supply chain disruption. You guys remember when mothers couldn't get baby formula for their children. You've had attacks on our energy infrastructure through this administration, trying to force people to buy electric vehicles. We've had wars. This war in Ukraine has cost us hundreds of billions of dollars. Money will never get back. It's not like it's a loan. This is money that this administration has given to Ukraine to help them fight a war that they can't win. And if you take into account that Joe Biden was Obama's point man for Ukraine when his son, Hunter Biden, was on the board of Burisma, an energy company, making over $300,000 a month, everything starts to crystallize and you realize what's happening. We got a war in Israel where Palestinians are being killed. And before anybody says, you support Hamas, I don't support Hamas. I think Hamas has their own issues. And I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the innocent people. So let me paint a picture. If Joe Biden were to get us into a war, which I think may happen, and you get killed, and someone says that you shouldn't have died, and, and then some other person says, you support Joe Biden? No, it's different. Over 35,000 people have been killed who are innocent victims in Palestine. And that's a war crime. The, the international courts have called Benjamin Netanyahu a war criminal, and they've also called Hamas a war criminal. And I happen to agree with that. But now, we've all sat and watched this man here be constantly attacked. And I think you have to be a real, you have to be a special needs kind of person to think that this man is the worst person in the world and not understand that our mainstream media is against him. They lied about him when he was president. They told all of us that Donald Trump was a Russian agent. You remember, I remember, we all remember. And he would go on TV and say, I don't know anything about Russia. And he'd say it over and over again. We remember when they said he was supporting white nationalists in, in Charlottesville. But when you watch the tape and you read the transcript, which I had to do to my mother a couple of days ago, because she was confused too. She was bamboozled. And most people are because we are conditioned to believe the idiots on TV and not understand that there's an agenda. But they called him a Russian asset. They called him a Russian agent. And come to find out Hillary Clinton paid her law firm, Perkins Cooey, to get with Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, and fabricate the Russian document, funnel it back to the Department of Justice to smear him and make him a lame duck president. Isn't that treason? Isn't that treason? I would say that's a treasonous act, but there's no criminality. When you think about Donald Trump as president having classified documents, every president has classified documents, every single one. Barack Obama has classified documents, Trump had classified documents. Nixon had classified documents. All the presidents did. But Joe Biden had classified documents in his Delaware home. And I know this is a different kind of topic than I normally talk about, but I'm really upset. I got children. I'm thinking about the future of this country. I'm not thinking about what's coming on BET or Showtime. I'm thinking about the, my children's future, and you should be thinking about it too. And if you don't have children, you need to be thinking about their future anyway. Because if you have children, and they're born in an authoritarian country, a third world country, that's what we are, we have right now, then we're gonna have a lot of trouble.
But Joe Biden had classified documents in his home, in his garage, under his car in Delaware. Joe Biden wasn't the president. He was the vice president. The only person who could ever declassify documents would be the president. But Joe Biden had classified documents. A special counsel investigated him under Attorney General Merrick Garland. This is the most corrupt administration, I think, in history. I think this administration is going to systematically destroy our country. But a special counsel investigated Biden. They found that he had had documents he shouldn't have and it was illegal to have them. But they said, we're not going to prosecute him because he's a well-meaning old man with memory issues. But they're bringing the thunder of God against Donald Trump. And now here we are with Stormy Daniels. Michael Cohen, who's Trump's ex-attorney, they call him the fixer because narratives matter in media. Now they're calling Trump convicted felon. I don't give a damn. I'm voting for Donald Trump. But Michael Cohen uh, goes on the uh, goes into court, sits on the stand, admits to stealing thousands of dollars from the Trump organization. He said he felt like they owed him, like he did more work than he should have. So he was making invoices and, and charging them things that he wasn't owed. He's already a convicted liar to the court. He lied under oath before. And so none of this seems to matter. And then yesterday, the judge tells, he instructs the jury when they go back to deliberate that they don't have to agree on a crime. It could be any crime. But as long as they think there was maybe a crime that happened, it'll be a unanimous decision against Donald Trump. This thing is rigged. Do you guys know who George Soros is? George Soros is one of the maniacs and brainchilds behind the destruction of America. If you look around your neighborhoods, if you live in a big city, if you live in California or New York, and you see criminality and you see people getting robbed and stabbed and pushed in front of trains and drugs and sex trafficking, a lot of this is because of people like George Soros. What George Soros does is he pays, he funds, uh, he funds campaigns to get people who will do his bidding to go into these positions of authority to allow lawlessness in our country. And A.G. Bragg, Letitia James, Fanny Pack Willis, they're all funded by George Soros. Fanny Willis, Letitia James, they've all been to Joe Biden's White House months ago, numerous times. You gotta ask yourself why. Why would, if this is just a state thing, why would these district attorneys be going to visit Joe Biden? And the, the real reason why is because this is an inside job committed by this administration to smear Donald Trump. They've already gone after his business. They tried to get him for half a billion dollars of liquid, which is the largest bond of all time. They took this Judge Ergeron, he looks like something from Lord of the Rings. He devalued Mar-a-Lago, which is a billion, $1.5 billion estate with hundreds of rooms. And people who are members pay hundreds of thousands of dollars per year just to be a member. He devalued a $1.5 billion estate to $18 million. So that happens. This happens. And now, because of this corrupt judge in New York, he tells the, the jurors they don't have to agree as long as they think something may have happened, he's gonna call it a unanimous decision. And now Donald Trump is found guilty of 34 felony charges related to election uh, finance violations. This is not America. This isn't America, you know? A lot of people who don't know much about politics or the history of this country don't know what they don't know. And so when you grow up listening to the news and people like Joy Reid and Joy Behar, how come the most evil people have the name Joy? MSNBC, CNN, they'll tell you all the, the stuff that they want you to believe and they don't expect you to ever look into it. They don't want you to learn. They want you to be a sheep. They want you to stand on the side of the road and screech what they tell you to screech because they don't think you have the mental wherewithal to do your own independent investigation. Donald Trump in 1996 was on stage with Rosa Parks and Muhammad Ali and others receiving the Ellis Island Award for the 
the work he had done in underprivileged communities, uplifting black and brown people, putting them in high paying positions as, as executives within this Trump organization. Trump was well known, had one of the biggest TV shows in America. All these people loved Donald Trump until Donald Trump ran against Hillary Clinton. So let's play a conspiracy theory game. If Donald Trump ran against Hillary Clinton and we don't really have free and fair elections and there's someone in a position of authority who really runs the show because I'm sure nobody here believes that Joe Biden is running our country. If you believe that, click off of my video now. Hit like before you do. But if you believe Joe Biden is running the country, I got a bridge to sell you somewhere. There's people in high positions of authority and power who run these countries. We have regime change wars. We have wars for resources around the world. They killed Muammar Gaddafi for resources because he wanted to move away from the dollar and have independence in Africa. These people are evil. At any rate, Donald Trump now has 34 felony charges against him. And, and the thing is, people think he's a racist. They think he's a misogynist. He's a man. He's a billionaire. Of course, he's going to have the finest women. But they don't know the history of him, what he's done for this country. In 2016 through 2020, we had a, low, a very low uh, inflation. We had high business ownership, the lowest unemployment at the time on record. They will skew the numbers now because people are coming back to work. But he had the lowest unemployment on record. He moved the embassy in Jerusalem. He put Supreme Court justices on the, on, on the Supreme Court, three of them, that's a record. He put like 280 uh, federal judges. He started building a wall on our southern border and God knows we needed that wall. We needed it built. It's funny when you think about it. They, they hamstrung Donald Trump and tied his hands. He needed $8 billion to build our wall. The Democrats, the people who tell you that they care about you while they watch you in squalor, while they watch your mortgage and rent go up, while they watch you struggle at the gas station and at the grocery store, the people who tell you that they love you told Donald Trump, no, you can't build the wall. I wonder why, what happened after that? These people wanted to flood our country with illegal aliens and then spit in your face and tell you it's rain. These illegals, you wonder why you don't see them? Because they're centralized. And you gotta ask yourself why? Why are these people centralized? Why do they have them in, in, in sky rises, in hotels? And why are they building like bunkers for these people? What, what is the plan? What is the end game for this? Nobody seems to even question this. They get free housing. They get free food. They get free airline tickets to whatever state they want to go to. And no one is asking why? And a bigger question, probably not a bigger question, but why is no one asking why don't Americans get any help? Trump needed $8 billion to build our border wall. Biden has given Ukraine over $200 billion. He's funding a war in Israel where they're killing Palestinians. He sent $30 billion to Taiwan. He does not care about you. The people who are in control want the destruction of America. The only way they'll have this one world government is destruction of our constitution. And so what their plan is, is to import people into our country that don't have a constitution and allow them to bring their ethos and their ways of life and their destruction upon this country. And then they'll give us a new solution, a North American union or something like that. Something that's been in the work, a globalist plan. Let's listen to what Donald Trump has to say. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. And the real verdict is going to be November, November 5th. 5th by the people. Yes. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. We have a Soros-backed DA, and the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, 
And it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end and we'll win. Because Listen our country is going to hell. Feet. We Wait don't have the same country anymore. This is on the Patrick Bet David um, podcast, PBD, who I love. Very, very bright man. The point is, guys, what is our future? What is your future? Do you have a future for your family? Do, are you planning one? When you see a Democrat administration targeting this man and his family and his business and everything about him, because Hillary Clinton was supposed to win. That's just, you know, that's the big secret. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton ran against each other. And then remember, if you guys Google it and go on YouTube, they disappeared for three days. They went to the Council of Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission. They had a meeting there and Hillary Clinton was told to kiss the ring. She came out and supported Donald Trump. Everybody in the news was like, where's Hillary? Where's Obama? They didn't know because they're not a part. It's a very, very small group and you ain't in it. They disappeared and Hillary Clinton was told to kiss the ring and she was told, wait your turn. And so when Donald Trump saw the direction of this country, what they were trying to do to it, He's a very wealthy man, he has a lot of knowledge. He's not perfect, but neither am I, neither are you. None of us are perfect. We've all done things that we won't admit on the internet, all of us. But when Donald Trump went out, I thought it was a joke. I was sitting at my, my, my desk, I was doing analysis at work, my old job, and um, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, Hillary Clinton, you know, the one who called black kids super predators and where people accidentally Epstein themselves, no matter what happens around her and her husband, and the one who attacked these women, Juanita Broderick, and you know these women who were abused by her husband, she went after them? No, I don't want a person like that in the White House. Hell no. But Donald Trump, he's the apprentice. There's no way. I remember that feeling, and I remember at my desk, I was sitting there and one of his rallies came on, and I was like listening to it, you know, it was in my periphery, and I heard him say, you know, it's time that somebody spoke up for you, the forgotten man. I was like, hmm, yeah, yeah, that'll be nice. It's time to put America first. I was like, yeah, that sounds good. It's time to lower taxes. All right. You know, it's time to secure our border. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, these things sound good. And when he won and Hillary Clinton came out and said it was stolen from her, she really did feel like it was stolen from her because the elites told her that she would have the job. Now, this is the conspiracy theory. It never happened, but she was told she'd have the job. And so they went after Donald Trump with everything they had. They called him a Russian agent. They impeached him twice. These are things that have no precedent in American history. What just happened today has no precedent. It's never happened before. And the, the thing is, our, our generation is so dumbed down that people won't look and say, wait a minute, this seems a bit far. This seems a bit unrational. No one goes to jail for a campaign finance violation. Nobody. I think like less than 10%, but they have other like really hardcore felonies that go along with it. This is Donald Trump and this is all planned. So they're going to do whatever they can to separate him from Secret Service so he can meet Jeffrey Epstein. That's my idea. That's what I believe they're trying to do. And I promise you this, if they succeed in that, we have lost our country. Donald Trump is fight. Look, man, I know it sounds stupid because it sounds like a slogan. I'm not fighting for me. I'm fighting for you because if after they get rid of me, there's nobody left to fight for. He says this stuff. How can you not see it? How can you not see it? Everything is worse. There's illegals attacking and killing our women. There's fentanyl killing 100,000 people. I think 300,000 people died last year from fentanyl. We're, we're in wars. Trump didn't get us in any wars. Obama killed Gaddafi. Biden is funding Ukraine and Israel, funding a genocide. Trump is winning in every swing state. They're going to find a way. Their plan is to find a way to get rid of him or to game the system again. I pray to God that, that America starts to wake up. This is a terrible terrible and dire time in our country. People need to stop watching football. 
you know, they said that in Rome, you know, if you give a person uh, bread and, and drinks, you know, in the Colosseum, you can do whatever you want because people will be so sidetracked with the entertainment, they won't see what you're doing. It's called sleight of hand. We got to start focusing on our future. If you have children, if you, if you think uh, that you one day might want to have children, it's time to wake up to what they're doing. They are trying to destroy our country. If you can't look around right now and see the destruction of our country, the things that are promoted in our country, the things that are shunned in our country by the elites, you can't be straight. You can't be a Christian. It's unbelievable what's happening. And I just pray for this man. And, and if you're not a Trump supporter, I understand, you know, I remember before I, I did research on the man and, and followed him, I love the guy. He did more for our country in four years with their boot on his neck than Biden has ever done. Biden's been in politics for 45, 50 years. And all he's done since 2020 is destroy our country. Inflation, open borders, calling illegal aliens newcomers. Is that not a smack in your face as an American? Is that not a smack in your face? It's a smack in my face. We have to wake up, we have to be strong. We have to support this man. And if you don't support him, and, and you wanna support RFK, fine. But RFK is a warmonger too. He wants to, to, to feed the war machine. Donald Trump doesn't want wars. He wants to secure our borders. He wants to bring manufacturing back to this country. He wants to leave uh, 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 certain things to, to individual states. And I think that's smart, because you don't want to uh, you know, blanketly cast you know your decision on the entire United States you leave it states I think that's a wise thing but they're going after him they're going after his children they're going after Baron who's 18 years old these people on TV they're like oh he's old enough to go after him now what the hell is wrong with these people why are we okay with this why are we okay with it and we got fake tough guys like Robert De Niro jumping you know up for the Biden campaign like he's tough. You're an actor, dude. Shut the hell up. I pray for Donald Trump. I pray for our country because they're using lawfare against Donald Trump to take him out. And, and I think that their, their aims are much more nefarious than they're telling us. The people who are running this world and are running these countries have a plan and they don't want Donald Trump in it. They want a one world government. They want a one world religion. They want a one world leadership. And America is the one country that has something that is a bottleneck to that plan. It's called the Constitution. God bless you guys. If you haven't yet, give a thumbs up to support my channel. And subscribe if you haven't. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.